the Sneak and Expect tonight with Tiny Core 3 Alpha. I like the new logo. I like the new logo. Talk it for Linux. Build it your way. And that's why I like it. It's really, really nice. And as you can see, I've been having a little play. So you've got the usual four icons. But I've added Midori for a web browser. Something different. Just open it up really, really quick. Straight to the page. Super, super quick that was, wasn't it? Nice. It does everything you really want to do. Now I'll put Midori in. Have a bit of a laugh. Melon Liqueur. Mm, that's not the way. Operating system from Microsoft. Hmm. Wikipedia. Let's go back to Wikipedia. Plenty of meanings. Blah, 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 blah. City in Japan. People, people, people. Go on and on. That's that bit done. Right, next thing I downloaded was Chromium. So we'll put up Chromium. Super fast again. There's no lag whatsoever. So into our bar, which we type into our bar. BBC. Go straight to BBC. That's how quick it is. Lovely and quick. There we go. Super fast. Very nice. Nice and clear. Full page as well. Sometimes don't come out full page, does it? So that's good too. Look at lots of stuff here. That 12 people killed. Not very good. Not sure about that colour blue though. It's a bit more grey, isn't it, than blue. Now we'll go to the iPlayer. Now I know this ain't going to work, but I'm just going to show you. So what we'll do, we'll click on something here. You need to install the Flash Player, which we'll find later. Or well, I'll show you the reason how you can do it and where, why, we won, etc. So, yeah, that's enough of that one. I do like that logo. Super, isn't it? Super duper. Yeah. Anyway, back to what we're doing. Dropbox is also in their little repository. So there we go. We'll have to wait a bit there. I don't have a Dropbox account. Of course I do. So I just installed it on here. And you can apply for your Dropbox account, email password, verified password, etc, etc. Nice. All done. Lovely. Of course I want to get out of it. Click OK. It's OK, isn't it? Right. The next thing is what I'm using now to actually record this. So I don't want to open it up again, really, but because I think I just crash. Exit cap. Right. Frame capture rate. Not too brilliant. But hey, it's there. It might get better as time goes on. Pigeon there for instant messengers. Inkscape Lite. Works nice. Look. That's alright. It's there in the repos. Build it your way. Just have what you want in the distro. So that's another nice one. Then we go down to another bar. Asunder. Asunder is here. Look, as it always looks like in every other distro. No different whatsoever. And the download's quite tiny actually. It's not very big at all. You can change encoding, destination folders, etc, etc, mp3, og, flak. These are more formats if you want to click down there. goes right up to 320kbps. So that's pretty good too, don't you think? Yeah, so we'll cancel that. And we'll come out of a sunder. Right, next on the line is Audacity. Now I installed Audacity, no problem. But there's obviously some bits and bobs that I'm missing. There we go, you see, I'll get an error. But, if you just click OK, 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 up it comes. That's nice and quick. There's a little odd thing up here. It's horizontal and vertical for your win windows here. So that's pretty weird, but hey, I can do with that. But yeah, it's just like every other audacity. You just need to add them bits and bobs so you can record and do the bits you need to do with it. So that's nice. Another little add-on. I'll try and find a little because I'm missing there, actually, because that should work straight away. So we'll close him down, I think. And that's it, all I've installed so far. Super fast. Boots up in around about... 8 to 10 seconds. Shuts down in around about 4. So that's pretty good. Here's the panel here. Look, you've seen it all before because I've done these videos before. There's nothing new here whatsoever. Do USB install, hard drive install, swap file tools, etc, etc, etc. Nothing new whatsoever. OK, we'll go over to apps anyway. OK, what we do... We'll show it up now. We go straight to connect. You click on connect, connects to the web, and we're there. Now I could scroll down all day here to get all the bits and bobs that you need, or you want, or you'd like to have, or if you would want them or not. And there's plenty of stuff here. Really, there's plenty of stuff. I mean, you can just do QT stuff, etc. I mean, show it. Darko, do you have a web browser? I've done a while ago. That's another little, little tiny one. So what should we do? I'm going to install something. I'm just going to install a quick one for you, and it's going to be not the plugins for every word, of course, but every word itself. You just highlight it, click install, and whoosh. In theory, it should download all the libs that you need 
to actually get it to work. Now, very word I know this actually works, so that ain't a problem. But it all depends on your net connection. It could take quite a while. So, you know, so we're down to the last bit of every word here. And we're waiting. And we wait a bit longer. And we wait even longer. Uh, I must have a slow knit tonight, look. It's taking its time, taking its time, taking its time. Anyway, this is the alpha anyway, while we're waiting for that. It's really, really nice. It's quicker than the last one. A lot, lot quicker. Which, how it could get quicker, I really don't know, to be honest with you. Because it was quick to start with. Anyway, every word is now downloaded. We'll close the box. And we're going to open them up. Click once. That's how quick it is. Horizontal. Do we do vertical as well? Yeah, go on in. Vertical as well. And there we are. All there. All ready to use. You can get loads of other stuff as well. Genomerics there. Everything you could possibly need, to be honest with you. Everything you could possibly need. Oh, file types, just in case. Well, they're all there. Docs there. Everything's there. Easy to use. No problem. So, that's all I'm going to say on Tiny Core Alpha 3 at the moment. It's really, really super. Sneaky Linux going out to pay. Or play. Or even that, yes. See you later.